Welcome back to the Post-COVID Recovery Guide. We are in Module 1, Lesson 3, Post-COVID Symptoms. There are over 200 symptoms that have been reported by post-COVID patients, uh, some more debilitating than others. Of the many symptoms reported, there are a few physical and psychological symptoms that are more prevalent among patients. Post-COVID symptoms can also dif differ from the symptoms experienced during the acute infection. Symptoms may also disappear within a few weeks and then reappear later or have new ones appear. So here is a list of some of the more common post-COVID symptoms as you see in this uh, neat diagram. It is um, post-COVID symptoms can affect every system and every area of the body and as I said earlier can be quite debilitating. Some of the top ones are profound fatigue, um, brain fog or cognitive impairment, uh, difficulty thinking and concentrating, um, headaches, migraines, depression and anxiety. Some people have PTSD, um, terrible quality of sleep, insomnia, uh, vertigo, tinnitus, dizziness, phantom smells, loss of taste and smells, palpitations, arrhythmias, um, POTS or postural tachycardia, orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or an increased heart rate when standing. Um, a lot of GI disturbance, including diarrhea, abdominal cramping, vomiting, nausea, lack of appetite, uh, post-exertional malaise is another big one. Uh, we'll dig into that one more in the uh, next module, but essentially it's paying the price for any type of exertion uh, through that horrible fatigue. Muscle aches and pains. Below is the remaining symptoms after uh, month six uh, that are common and at least at least 30% of the time or a prevalence of uh, 30%, greater than 30%. So here you can see... Um, Fatigue is uh, present in about 80% of those with uh, post-COVID. Um, and this, again, is a study by Davis et al. in 2000, published 2021. Uh, Post-exertional malaise uh, tied quite closely with fatigue. Um, brain fog, uh, neurological ailments. I won't read off all the symptoms, uh, but as you can see, they are quite uh, prevalent. And, and the incidence of or the prevalence of greater than 30% means that a lot of a lot of people are suffering from quite a number of these symptoms. So here we can see in this next chart, I really like this one, uh, where the red arrow is, are these are all symptoms that can be improved with self-management strategies. Um, so while post-COVID can be entirely debilitating, um, there are some self-management strategies that we can all empower ourselves to do to improve our quality of life while we wait for research to develop a cure for this condition. And of course, um, I can't talk about post-COVID symptoms without discussing the mental health impacts uh, that we long haulers experience. Uh, so again, by Davis et al. in 2021, uh, looking at the uh, prevalence of these different um, emotions that people experience and, and mental health conditions. So anxiety, irritability, depression, uh, you know, changing mood, uh, anxiety. I mean, the, the list goes on. And one thing that I have found anecdotally in speaking to other long haulers and in clinic and in, in speaking with patients is despair. Uh, despair is one thing that I actually even experienced myself at the height of my post-COVID symptoms. Uh, it is, you know, not uncommon for patients to feel despair, especially when developing a new disease that where you go from being high functioning to being totally debilitated within a couple of weeks or months and a disease that is really poorly researched, poorly understood, and there is no known cure. So I think it makes sense that a lot of people do have this feeling of despair or hopelessness. And I think that there is a sense of developing acceptance for where we are in our health journey at this point and 
going back to the slide about uh, mobilizing ourselves and empowering ourselves to make changes in our life and doing self-management strategies to help improve our quality of life. Um, I will discuss these strategies and more in uh, further lessons and modules, um, and so stay tuned for that.